welcome to all <coughs> in this video we discuss about hydrides hydrides is nothing but h minus so hydrogen forms binary hydrides in electro positive metals including metals and non metals metal and non metals so hydrogen forms binary hydrides in many electro positive elements including metal and non metals so electro positive metals or non metals so it react with hydrogen it forms hydride hydride means h minus so hydrides is nothing but uh, electro positive of hydrogen rich electron rich compound so it is called nama solvom so it is also form ternary hydrides with two metals ternary hydrides these are ternary hydrides so lithium aluminum hydrides sodium boro hydrides seringla so hydrides is nothing but metal plus hydrogen metal plus hydrogen forms hydrides so hydrogen uh, classified as three types ionic covalent and metallic ionic covalent and metallics so hydrides formed with uh, elements having lower electronegativity than hydrogen hydrogen evada koreyana electronegativity irundhuchu appadina it forms ionic hydrogen having high electronegativity and other elements having low electronegativity so it forms ionic then elements having high electronegativity than hydrogen it forms covalent so ionic eppa form aagum covalent eppa form aagum thanjikkinina so any element e any element having lower electronegativity than hydrogen ionic any element having higher electronegativity than hydrogen it forms covalent so this is hydrides so for their hydride classified in three types one is ionic hydrides covalent hydrides then metallic hydrides so first i am going to explain ionic hydrides so ionic hydrides is nothing but uh, hydrides composed of electro positive metals so hydrides composed of an electro positive metal generally alkali so 1s 2s black elements 1s or 2s black element alkali metals and alkali earth metals so adala except beryllium and magnesium thavarthu form aagudinga ellame form aagum so electro positive metals so metal irundhu irukku inga hydrogen irukku so electron transfer electron transfer into hydrogens so formed by transfer of electron from metal to hydrogen atom electron transfer metal to hydrogen atom seringla <coughs> so they can be prepared in 400 degree celsius prepared by reaction of elements about 400 degree celsius la namba hydride form pannom so ionic hydrides nothing bad so the metal electron transfer into hydrogen atom ipdi pochu appadina so it forms metal hydrides metal hydrides vandu form pannom so idha main reactions so this ionic hydrides uh, this salts are salt like like salt high melting point white crystalline white crystalline solid having hydride ions and metal cation so h minus irundhalum illa metal cation irundhalum this is white crystalline solids so this reactions lithium reaction with hydrogen it forms 400 degree celsius so this is lithium hydride idu calcium hydride if any metals react with hydrogen it forms metal hydrides metal plus hydrogen forms metal hydrides so this is ionic hydrides ionic hydride is nothing but electro positive metals react with hydrogen under 400 degree celsius it forms hydrides so the main reason the metal elem the metal electrons are transfer into metal into hydrogen atom so next covalent hydrides so covalent hydrides they are compounds which hydrogen is attached to another 
element by sharing of electrons so any element electron is attached sharing of electron this is e for element h for hydrogen seringla so idu kuda send e h nu form pannu e h nu form pannu so main reason sharing of electrons sharing of electrons the most common example of covalent hydrides in non metals seringla so mostly uh, this covalent hydrides are mostly non metals mostly non metals example methane ammonia water hcl so these are all covalent hydrides these are all covalent hydrides mutual sharing of electrons mostly non metals they are all examples so uh, the covalent hydrides further classified into three types covalent hydride further classified into three types one is electron rich electron deficient electron precious electron rich means electron adhigama irukka vendidu so inga lone pair irukum inge lone pair of electron so this is electron rich hydrides electron deficient hydrides inga electron undu patra kuraiya irukum electron undu deficient means patra kurai electron patra kuraiya irukum electron precious samamanadhu so example kudukuren so idu carbon carbon valency 4 So, in hydrogen, all are come. So, hydrogen will be one electron, carbon will be one electron. Two same or bond form, but no hydrogen will be electron, carbon will be electron. Hydrogen will be electron, carbon will be electron. This is a mutual sharing of electrons. Electron precious. So, mostly uh, these covalent hydrides are mostly weak intermolecular force. This is what we are trying to prove. So. covalent hydrides is nothing but mutual sharing of electrons element and hydrogen are sharing of electron most they are non metals mostly they are non metals so examples so covalent hydrides classified in three types electron rich electron deficient electron precious so mostly weak intermolecular force so this is covalent hydrides next metallic hydrides <coughs> so metallic hydrides are interstitial hydrides nu solluvom so metals and alloys alloys means mixing of metals so metal or alloys so hydrogenation hydrogenation addition of hydrogen solluvom hydrogenation process so it forms metal hydrides hydrogenation process so hydrogens are present in interstitial position adha interstitial voids nu solluvom whites means positions metallic hydrides are usually obtained by hydrogenation of metals or alloys in which hydrogen occupies the interstitial site hence they are called interstitial hydrides or metal la hydrogenation addition hydrogen pandrom adu peru metal hydride nu solluvom so and metal hydrogen la hydrides vandu edaipatta pagudhiyila whites la occupied pannum so interstitial hydrides so this interstitial or metallic hydrides show the properties of parent metal parent metal ude enna property iruko adhe same property in the metal hydrides and comicum show the properties of parent metal parent metal enna property comicudo adhe property this metallic hydrides are form next most or non stoichiometry stoichiometry means balanced non stoichiometry means unbalanced equation so most of the metallic hydrides show the non stoichiometric seriya so these metallic hydrides are thermally unstable thermally unstable make hydrogen storage applications so these metal hydrides are very usefully to make hydrogen storage application and the form of the seringla so these metallic hydrides form stoichiometry when the electro positive metals electro positive metal kuda motto it forms nade stoichiometry non stoichiometry means cm h2 idu mh appadina stoichiometry seringla so most of the metallic hydrides form stoichiometry when the hydrogen are treated with electro positive metals 
so this is hydrides so totally three types ionic covalent and metallic hydrides